Welcome back to the Keeper YouTube channel. Today we're hosting an interview with Melissa Mazels, an Australian goalkeeper for Canberra United. She currently wears Keeper goalkeeper gloves in all of her training sessions and matches. Today we're going to hear about her early beginnings, her most memorable career moments, her advice to young goalkeepers who want to go pro, and much more, so stay tuned. Tell everyone a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, and how you started playing soccer. My name is Melissa Mazels. I uh, grew up in Melbourne, Victoria, in Australia. I started playing soccer when I was 10 years old. Um, I wasn't always a goalkeeper. I was a striker first. As my career went on, I just started putting the gloves on when I was 18 and, and started playing goalkeeper. And now I'm uh, in sunny Canberra. I'm preparing for season 11 of the W League. When did you start playing for Canberra United and how has that been so far? So my first ever professional contract was actually at Canberra United. I was the backup goalkeeper here four years ago, I think it was now, yeah. I was fortunate enough to be back up to some really great keepers, Chantel Jones from the US and also Lydia Williams, who's obviously the Matildas number one at the moment. So I'm very fortunate to do my apprenticeship under such great mentors. And then I obviously went off to to Perth Glory for a couple of years and now I'm excited to be back at Canberra for this season as a number one, so yeah. Did you face any struggles or setbacks early on in your career? Yeah, definitely. It's always tough. You know, you're always going to face some criticism when you're going from being an on-field player to then becoming a goalkeeper. People are going to question you and ask, you know, have, have I got what it takes? Have I got the skill set? Have I worked behind the scenes, worked hard enough and like got the basics of goalkeeping down? But yeah, I quickly abolished all of that. I was, I was willing to put in the work and put in the time it took to get my skills up to up to standard and yeah just go from there what's been your greatest accomplishment or favorite moment so far in your career i still remember the day i, I signed my first contract it was actually my first contract was a injury replacement contract with melbourne victory so putting pen to paper on my first professional contract was a moment that i'll never forget and then obviously making my my w league debut for canberra united back four years ago was also incredibly special uh, to me, but um, just trying to take every day as it comes now and, and every session, every game is special to me now because every day I get to put my boots on and put my gloves on. It's an incredible feeling, so I just try to make the most of every moment. I try to like treat every game like it's my last, every session like it's my last and, and really focus on getting everything right. Do you have a most memorable save or match? I actually remember back in my second season at Canberra, I filled in for Lydia when she was on um, Matilda's duty. We played against Western Sydney Wanderers and the one, f I think it was 4-1, but I had a really, really good game. I made some really good saves. It was my first TV game as well. So I think that kind of added to everything. Um, so to be making some, pulling off some really good saves against some quality opponents on TV, I still remember that that game. That was a really special game for me. And also uh, round one of last season when I was playing for Perth Glory, uh, we played Melbourne City, reigning champions, and we beat them 4-1 as well. That was also on live streamed, and, and um, I made some really good saves in that game. So it was good to, you know, because I've come from Melbourne, it was good to show those girls that I remember from Melbourne that um, I'm there and I can do it and I'm on that level. And even though I have had to go into state to find my opportunities, I'm still, you know, on the path that I want to be on. Now, you started wearing Keeper goalkeeper gloves back in 2017. Now, how did you find out about Keeper and what made you want to wear the gloves? I had actually seen them being advertised on, on social media already. And I just, you know, I, I was interested, but I never actually reached out or like, you know, went online and bought any, any pairs or anything. But Doug reached out to me, the owner, and he just said, look, I'm, I'm looking for uh, athletes to get on board and, and um, start to showcase the gloves and wear them in, in top leagues around the world. And, and would you be interested? And I, of course, I, I had a previous, you know, sponsor that I was with, but I really jumped at the opportunity to, to get on board with Doug and keep her and like, see how the gloves worked and and when i got my first pair i just couldn't believe how well they fit not even a, a, you know trying to plug them right now but they just fit so snug and obviously never looked back so doug's really looked after me and uh, you know i want to make sure i look after him and, and just every keeper i've been in contact with ever since they've been interested to check them out and i've said take a pair try them on whatever have a go because they are just like really really good quality gloves do you have any superstitions or things you do before every game or match I try to steer away from superstitions and habits and things like that just because you never know uh, something might go wrong, something might not go to plan and I don't ever want to you know, get any anxiety over you know that not going to plan or that not not going as, as it's supposed to be. So I um, you know I try to be pretty chill and pretty casual before games and like listen to music, dance around the change rooms, like that's me. Um, 
I'm not too serious and I'm trying to take myself too seriously. So just making sure I'm having fun and I'm but I'm also focused on, you know, my task at hand, what I need to, you know, be aware of in the game, certain players I need to, you know, be aware of what foot they shoot with and all of that. So I'm, I've got all that stuff in the back of my mind, but at the end of the day, I just make sure that, you know, if I've prepared and I've got all my gear and I'm, I'm ready to go, then the rest will take care of itself. And if I stay focused on the pitch, then the job will get done. What advice would you give to young goalkeepers who want to become professional? Hard work. Work. It's there's nothing's gonna come easy, and I know that sounds cliche and everyone says it, but get your footwork right, get your positioning right, and play as many games as you possibly can. You know, starting so late in my career, like if I if I could go back and start when I was 14, 12, I would at, at the drop of a hat because that's four extra, six extra years of of game situations that I could have been in where I was a goalkeeper, where I could you know was looking at the positioning of the players on the park and where I needed to be. So you know, I've lost time in the, in that sense, but I'm trying to really quickly make up for it and I think I have you know any advice would say, get your footwork right work really hard on that in terms of like your work rate you, you're going to be puffed you're going to be exhausted but get out there do your cone work get your feet right get your positioning right on the park and just play as many games as you possibly can so you can see all those scenarios and make all those pictures in your head of uh, what shape you need to be in what scenario and stuff like that so you can put yourself in the best position to be able to make the save that's all you can do at the end of the day is just put yourself in the absolute best position to make the save make the save you make it if you don't you move on you go to the next one and lastly what are you most looking forward to this season i'm just looking forward to playing for canberra again it's been two years since i left and i always felt when i was here it was, it was always like a family and the fans the supporters are incredible here they will support the team until the 95th minute and i love that about these supporters so i just can't wait to put the canberra badge back on get in front of these supporters you know and, and play for my team i'm really excited to play for heather Gary Ock, our coach, I think she believes in me. I want to make her proud. I want to work hard for her. And I want to make my teammates proud. Or I want to work hard for them. So, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to round one. We, I get to play City again round one. I think that's the best time to get them, being, you know, they've won, won the league three years in a row. I think you definitely want to get them round one when they're fresh. So I'm um, really looking forward to that game down at McKellar Park. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking the time to do this interview. And I wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you. Thanks for listening to our interview with Canberra United goalkeeper Melissa Mazels. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Keeper YouTube channel. If you're interested in purchasing Keeper goalkeeper gloves, you can do so on www.keepersoccer.com.